guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you may be able to see behind me, um, I have an array of food spread out all over the table and that is because yesterday evening me and Jack, sorry if I sound really stuffy, um, I'm still poorly so obviously as you might know my uploads have been going up late. That's because I've been <clears throat> a bit sick over the last few weeks. Um, I'm okay in terms of pregnancy, apart from the SPD. I've got physio today, but my uploads have been a bit late um, at the moment. So today I have for you an Aldi haul um, as we went shopping yesterday evening and I thought I would show you all what we got. Um, so I've just noticed I've been looking in the viewfinder that whole time and not actually down the lens, but I am talking to you. <laughs> so without further ado, let me get into the haul so you can see what we bought. Okay, so first things first, and it is not food related, um, are these flowers which we picked up for only £5. Um, they are pink and white and pretty and I love them and I just wanted to include those for you. But I know you're here for the food so let's just get started. Um, so first things first, I've got some mixed peppers, um, obviously peppers are a speed food, I like to chuck them into a lot of things like curries, um, or if I make like fajita chicken or things like that. I also buy the frozen peppers, but these are also good if you're making like salt and pepper chips. Um, I like to bake these in the oven with the um, Slimming Well chips that I make, and it just adds some extra veg to your fries. Moving along here. I've got some lemons, um, I like to drink a lot of lemon water um, just because I find plain water a bit boring <laughs> um, and lemons are really good for you and I've also been having some honey and lemon at the minute because I am sick um, so I've not been sinning the honey since I've been poorly so naughty me um, but it has been really helping with like my throat and my chest so i um, really been using a lot of these at the moment. Another one that could be deemed a bit controversial in the Slimming World world, but um, they had the avocados in Aldi on the Super 6, so it was only 45p for an avocado, and I love avocado, and I really couldn't pass that up for 45p, so I picked up two because it was the last two left, um, and I'll probably have that on toast with some cherry tomatoes. <laughs> um, so cherry tomatoes are a staple in our fridge. I always have tomatoes on hand to have with like salads and things. Same goes for cucumber. I love cucumber and tomatoes in my salad. Um, moving along, I've got some sweet corn here, the tinned sweet corn. Um, I either add that to salads or I'll put it into chilies and things to bulk it out. Sometimes if I'm making like a soup, I'll chuck a tin of sweet corn in there just to give it some sweetness to the soup um, if I'm making like a sweet corn chowder or sometimes I'll add it to potato and leek soup um, but yeah and sweet corn's another one that I love just for like bulking meals out um, I've got an iceberg lettuce here that is my lettuce of choice I find that it lasts longer as well than the bagged lettuce if you wrap this up in cling film um, once you've opened it it always lasts longer than the best before date um, so as long as you keep it wrapped up nice and tight they last a lot longer than the bags of lettuce and salad that you can get so I find that's better value and it's cheaper than the bags of salad as well um, I've got some mini easy peelers here I've been going through a phase at the minute of wanting to eat a lot of um, oranges and drink like citrusy drinks and things I don't know if it's a pregnancy thing or my body's just trying to get some more vitamin C into me um, but yeah, I've been loving the Easy Peelers at the minute, so we picked up another bag of those. Um, moving along, we've got British Onions, and they're also on the Super 6 at the minute in Aldi, um, so these were also 45p for the bag. Um, so we picked up another bag of onions, because I put onion in almost everything that I cook. Um, so if you don't like onion, you wouldn't like coming around my house for dinner, <laughs> but um, I like adding onion to pretty much everything, so that's another one that I love. Moving on to tinned, and I did pick up more than one tin of each, but I thought I'm running out of room on this table, so I just put one tin each out. Um, so I picked up the Everyday Essentials Baked Beans. I do prefer Heinz, but at the minute we are on a budget, obviously with baby on the way, and having just moved into the flat, so I am... <laughs> I'm giving up the branded Heinz baked beans and sticking to the everyday essentials and I have adjusted to them 
they're not the same as Heinz but they're not bad and I also again I chuck these into things to bulk out meals so if I'm making like mince hot pot or if I'm making a chilli again I chuck everything into a chilli um, but I like to add baked beans to things to just bulk out meals um, chopped tomatoes again are another thing that I add to a lot of meals um, I don't want to say chilli again because you're going to think all I live off is chilli but I use the chopped tomatoes in chilli in pasta sauces that I make from scratch um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll see kind of like some of the meals that I eat so chopped tomatoes go in a lot of my homemade mealy things and then spaghetti hoops because me and Jack are big kids at heart and I do like spaghetti hoops on toast and I'm pretty sure spaghetti hoops are sin free so um, they are one of my not guilty pleasures and they're even better with some cheese on top um, so yeah love spaghetti hoops at the minute in Aldi they have like a Mexican thing going on at the moment and um, so they've got the stand and stuffed taco kits in there so I picked up one of those I'm pretty sure the actual taco boat itself is four and a half sins um, so I picked up one of these because we thought well we can have this um, for dinner one night and it's less sins than having a wrap so I thought that was really good I also picked up some more of the fajita seasoning because um, I do like to make like fajita pasta fajitas in general or slow cooked fajita chicken um, and I'm not sure if the stone mill seasoning is sin free but I know that the Schwartz is so I would imagine that this is as well I'll have to double check it but I'm hoping that this one's also sin free <laughs> oh sorry so we have already made up some of this and stuck it in the fridge because we like to drink it really cold and um, so don't worry that they're like half empty <laughs> we haven't drunk that much in one night but um, we have made it up so it's ready to go in the fridge and that is I like the peach fruit and barley that's my favorite the no added sugar squash as I said I don't like drinking water on its own I find it a bit plain and a bit boring and um, so if I have a squash then peach is usually my squash of choice Jack on the other hand is a summer fruits kind of guy so he picked this one um, and I usually run out of my peach before he runs out of his summer fruits so I don't mind this one as well so I usually switch over to that once I've run out of this um, I've got some diet lemonade here I do like to have a bottle of fizzy on hand and I always pick the diet variety obviously because it's sugar free so it's sin free um, I am obviously trying not to drink as many fizzy drinks um, but I do like to have some there just because every now and then I do reach for it um, there's also this giant family bag of snack right crisps now this is 18 bags and I think it was like £1.29 or something like that for 18 bags of crisps um, now sin values for these crisps range between four and four and a half sins per bag um, I will leave them in the description bar down below so check it out if you want to know the sin values but I am a big crisp lover and um, I like to snack on savoury things um, so when I saw that they had 18 bags for £1.29 I was like well we might as well just buy the massive bag um, and then they'll last us quite a while um, so yeah I thought that was really good value um, almost missed out here we've got some bananas as well um, Jack eats bananas a lot we did get two bags but I just stuck one on the table um, and I like bananas as well so that's another one that we get regularly in terms of milk we've got the ActiLeaf almond milk as well as the normal semi skimmed milk um, obviously almond milk you can have more for your healthy extra than what you can of the um, semi skimmed so if I know that I'm going to be having a lot of healthy extra A even though I get two now being pregnant um, if I know that I'm going to have like a, a bit more cheese or something then I'll opt for the almond so that I can have more bang for my buck um, but on day to day basis in like my tea and things I'll tend to have the semi skimmed but I do like this in oats and things as well <clears throat> we've also got here some reduced fat hummus which I think is 4 sins per tablespoon but I will double check that and leave it down below I really like hummus it is one of my um, favourite snacks to sort of dip things in um, obviously trying to keep the sin values low I will tend to dip things in it like carrot sticks cucumber, celery, things like that um, if I am feeling particularly naughty now that I'm pregnant I might use some of that Ravita Thins, things like that but this is one of my favourite snacks so if I do feel like treating myself then I don't have to feel as guilty because it is reduced fat so I don't mind using the Sins on it 
Now we've got the Brickley knockoff yogurts from Miller. They're not Miller Lite, they're the Miller Lite knockoffs and they aren't all sin free which is really disappointing. Um, I know that the banana and custard which is my favourite is like half a sin. I need to double check the sin values on these two flavours um, but this one is a really nice flavour and I think I've had this one before but I need to double check the sins on them. It is such a shame that they're not all sin free because they are so much cheaper than Miller Lite but Oh well, for half a sin, I don't mind these ones. Like I said, I need to double check the sin values on these, but hey ho, there we go. Also picked up some sandwich meat. So we've got the um, chicken slices and the ham slices. Sometimes I will just pick up a slice of ham or chicken and just eat it on its own. Um, but yeah, these are really good for going in sandwiches. Um, so did I mention the wholemeal bread? I don't know if I did, I've got some Warburton's wholemeal bread down here as well, so this is used for like a healthy extra B option, um, and so if I'm making a sandwich then I'll quite often pop in the cooked ham and cooked chicken in there as well. Um, more fruit, we've got the British strawberries, I'm so happy that strawberries are coming into season because they are one of my favourite fruits. Um, and then I've got some raspberries here as well. They're both really speedy fruits, so I like to have them as snacks and things, or I'll put them with like cereal and things like that. I've got some baby button mushrooms because I love mushrooms. Um, I know they're a bit of a love hate, not everyone likes them, but I really love them. Um, I'll fry them up in fry light and have them with like breakfast and things, or I'll add them into extra meals to bulk them out. Um, I just think they're really versatile, you can add them to a lot of dinners or you can have them like on the side of things. Um, so yeah, I really love mushrooms and I'm quite lucky that Jack eats them too. Um, I've got the Benefit Light Bars here as well, the chocolate and fudge is my favourite. But I've also got apple and sultana here as well. And these can be used as your healthy extra B I believe, or I think they're about three sins each. Um, so these are really good just to snack on instead of chocolate um, although I do still have a lot of Easter chocolate left to get through <coughs> I've got some eggs here as well um, 15 because I know there's only two of us in the house but we get through a lot of eggs um, I make a lot of things like pancakes um, and <laughs> things like that. I just, I don't know how I get through it. I get through a lot of eggs. I like egg mayonnaise as well a lot with like smoked salmon and things. Um, so yeah, I do use a lot of eggs. So we pick up the big box just because we get through so much of it. Um, I've got some British baking potatoes. I find that these are really good for making swimming world chips from. Um, I cut them up, uh, parboil them and then cook them in the oven to make my swimming world chips. But obviously you can also use them just as normal baked potatoes. Um, or for making like potato and leek soup and things like that. So I find the bigger potatoes at the minute are a lot better. Only issue I'm having with them at the moment is they're sprouting so quickly. So if you've watched my other videos, you'll already know that what I quite often do is I pre-make the chips. Um, so I'll cut them up, parboil them, and then freeze them. So then I can just get the already prepared chips out of the freezer and just chuck them in the oven and cook them from frozen. Um, and then it stops you wasting any potatoes as well if they do sprout really quickly. And the only thing that I've got for the freezer section in this haul is hash browns. Um, I love hash browns and yeah, they're only two sins, aren't they, I think, for one hash brown. So at the weekend, I quite often like to have a hash brown with my breakfast. Um, and yeah, not feel too guilty about it because I'll quite happily use two sins on a hash brown. And I think the McDonald's ones are four sins. So you can have two for the price of a McDonald's hash brown. So we love that. And I think I mentioned everything that is sat on this table. So what you may have noticed when you were watching that is that we don't have any meat on the table um, like chicken, mince, things like that and that is because at the moment we are experimenting with bulk buying our meat. So last month we did a muscle food order and when Jack gets paid this month I believe we're going to go to the butchers to see what we can get from the butchers. Um, so we've still got a week's worth of meat left in the freezer. Um, I believe we've got about four chicken breasts, we've got a pack of the muscle food sausages left, um, I think we've got some hash, hashé, hash, hashé steaks, 
I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and then some days I won't use meat anyway. So if I'm not using meat, I might make a vegetarian dish or I'll use like tuna or fish or something like that. Um, so yeah, I think I've got about a week's worth of meat left and then we'll have to do another bulk buy of the meat. Um, but we're just trying to see if that works out cheaper than us buying meat on like a weekly basis. Cause like I said, we are budgeting at the minute with a new baby on the way. So that is, um, that is what we shop for on a weekly basis. All of this came to, I think about 30 pounds, something like that, about 30 pounds. And obviously we've not had to buy any meat this week. Um, so that's good. I will be making a video on our sort of budgeting food plan um, at some point because I've also got some budget cookbooks and things. So I'm going to do like a little mini series on budgeting with your food shops and things like that. Um, with a like baby on the way and some more family kind of videos. Um, so yeah, that's all to come. I'm sorry I sound so out of breath. Honestly, being 30 weeks pregnant, I don't know what it does to you, but I just get out of breath talking. Plus I can't breathe through my nose properly at the minute because I'm so congested. I'm gonna end this video here. Um, please do give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. I will try and leave sin values for anything with a sin value in the description bar down below. Remember that they'd all be correct at the time of filming, but obviously if you watch this at a later date, I can't guarantee that sin values are always gonna be correct. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below and please do hit the subscribe button um, because I love to see all you new faces following me. It's so exciting um, when I get new subscribers. It makes me really happy. So yeah, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!